Alrighty, so moving along with our development process here, in this video we'll focus on steps four of integrating the template files into our Angular app and also adding support for icons and logos. All right, so let's swing back into Visual Studio Code. And let's move down to our appcomponent.html file. So at the moment, it's very basic, very plain. We're gonna add some information here from our template. So I'll just take all of this information and just delete it. And I'll swing back over to that template HTML file, home.html. And I'll start with this first section here of the page wrapper and the menu sidebar. So let's just go ahead and copy that information. And then I'll swing back into my Angular component here and paste it. So I expand my window here for a bit. So I have this div class page wrapper, the menu sidebar, and then let's just add an end div at the bottom here just to kind of keep ourselves on track. And now let's also add our uh, section here for the page container header desktop. So let's grab this information and copy it. And then move down here and paste that information in. So that's the page container header desktop. And then let's add one more div here to kind of wrap things up. And now there's the main content section, but this is kind of like where they kind of do the copy paste of all the different products, more of the same. Uh, we'll kind of get into that in a bit. And this will actually be handled by our product list component. So what we'll do is we'll just say main content and we'll just give a reference to our product list component. So let me just copy that item and swing back over to Visual Studio Code and I'll paste it right here. So just main content, just the comment itself. And then I'll just make use of my app product list. And that's the same component that we created a little bit earlier in the course. And let me grab just a bit more information here. Let's grab this footer section. So we'll copy that. We'll put that also in our Angular component. So I'll just say in page container and then paste. All right, just a little checkpoint here. Make sure that looks okay. Um, don't worry about the pagination stuff. We'll get to that in some later videos, but make sure you have those two end divs there on 61, 62 or somewhere thereabouts. And then also I'll just kind of format this thing and kind of line everything up. All right, so this looks good so far as in regards to our main app component.html. And you can also see that we make reference to our images slash logo.png for our love to shop image. So that's our next step here is adding support for those logos. So we did the icon stuff a little earlier. So right now we're just really just focusing on the logo. I'll make this one small change here on the href. So instead of home.html, we'll just put a pound symbol or a hash mark symbol for right now or a hashtag. Uh, we'll get into all that stuff um, a little bit later. But right now we'll focus on this logo.png. So remember, in Angular applications, the assets directory is a special directory for serving up web resources. Um, right now we have our placeholder. We'll go ahead and copy in assets images logo.png. And we can grab that here 
from that template directory. And I'll just drag and drop it over here and put it into images. And so we can verify this. So assets, images, and then logo.png. So that's our love to shop logo.